Hey, Dada. Hey, what's up, Papa? What do your lungs do? Oh, um, well, your lungs are responsible for what we call gas exchange, meaning the intake of oxygen and the elimination of carbon dioxide. In a healthy adult, carbon dioxide is the gas that triggers respiratory function in the medulla or in the brainstem. So that means that your body is constantly or your brain's constantly looking at the CO2 level in your body. And the way that we can determine that is by something called chemoreceptors. And chemoreceptors are little cell organelles that live inside the carotid arteries and in the aorta. And they monitor the amount of gas in there. And if the, if the CO2 is too high or too low, it tells your brain that, hey, I need, uh, you know, I need more uh, CO2. So you slow down respirations and your CO2 builds up. Or if you have too much CO2, it, your brain your brain tells your body to, hey, breathe faster and we eliminate carbon dioxide. So remember, for the adult, it's carbon dioxide that triggers the respiratory effort. But oxygen, of course, is the gas that our body utilizes for cellular metabolism. So both of them are very important. Keep in mind that any respiratory issue, I don't care if it's asthma, uh, bronchiolitis, bronchitis, whatever, uh, tuberculosis, that's going to cause impaired gas exchange. Your O2 will go down and your CO2 will go up. And this is why personal breathing is very important. When you breathe into your nose... And you puck your lips, the exhalation or the elimination of, uh, of gas is prolonged and that facilitates the elimination of CO2 when somebody's having impaired gas exchange. Thanks, Dada. Mm -hmm.